Christina Klima and today I will show you how to do vertical stripes. I started with uh, a base color. The base color that you see on the sample here is silver gray. It's Benjamin Moore actual finish and it's silver gray number 213160. Okay, the second color that we're going to use in the middle is uh, Nimbus gray and it's number 213150. And uh, the third color, the stripe in the middle, is Hazy Skies, and the number is OC48. You also need a uh, measuring tape to measure a wall, okay? You need, um, uh, you need a level, you need a uh, ruler with uh, the level, if you can get it, that would be wonderful. You need a pencil to mark your stripes, um, you need three rollers. You might even need the extender for latex paint. Um, you need a um, sharpie and uh, of course you need the blue tape. I buy Pro blue tape one and a half inches and the stripes are going to be measured from this point out eight inches each stripe. So from here to here is eight inches, from here to here is eight inches and from here to here is eight inches. Okay. So let's get started. The finished result, of course, you will have a wonderful room just like this one. Uh, you can use virtually any colors, but my advice uh, would be to use close colors on the Benjamin Moore strip. Basically two colors and one accent color will, will work the best. So as I said, I did the um, basic coat here in silver gray and now every other stripe I'm going to paint in Nimbus Grey. So, um, this is my little tray. This is Nimbus Grey color. Make sure that your roller um, doesn't absorb too much paint. All you need to do is like work with almost dry roller. See how my paint is not dripping. It's like uh, really like hardly covering the roller. This way you will not have any um, you know any bleeding of the paint. Okay and of course I make sure that my tape is really tight to the wall. So I start from the middle of the stripe okay and I start gently okay and you go vertically through the whole wall but then like when the stripe meets when the tape meets the wall you kind of not try not to load as much paint to prevent it from bleeding through so basically my stripes are somewhat semi dry like nice wine <laughs> semi dry <clears throat> so I've made, I skip this one. This will stay silver gray, and I know that on the wall it will look really white almost. But then you will see when you take off the tape, it looks totally different. So uh, again, I apply in the middle of the taped area to prevent from bleeding. And I cover the surface completely. Okay, so the prep work is done. We have two colors walls. This is the silver gray, this is Nimbus gray, two different striped walls um, and they will be uh, basically six and a half inches um, wide. Okay, now I personally don't like two color stripes. That's why I decided to introduce complementary color. Just to, to bring it all together, to have an impact, to have a highlight. So to have a highlight, I highlighted those two with the third one. So to have it happen, I tape off on both sides of the thin stripe, okay? And this is a little easier to do because you already have, you already have this in place. So you just go on the edge of the tape that you used to do those tapes. Okay, and you do both sides.
Okay, now, uh, not to get confused, because imagine it's the whole white wall. What if you have 20 feet of this, or 30 feet, 9 feet up? It's not like a small sample. In order to avoid the confusion, I mark the one that I need to paint with some sign. You know, you can put a heart <laughs> or, or whatever you want. Also, like a great idea would be to leave these tails, these little tails, all the way on the ceiling so that you know where your stripes are. A word of advice, when you are doing the, the whole room or even an accent wall, it's really a good idea not to do it alone. I hope you're not doing it alone. I hope you have the luxury of having a couple of people, at least two, three people doing the stripes. So next step, I'm going to take this tape off to paint it in a hazy skies color. Benjamin Moore hazy skies. So I just pick it up, I take it off. At this stage you take off this paint all over the room or all over the wall. This is Benjamin Moore Hazy Skies color. This will be my accent color that will really um, make the whole difference. You will see in a minute. Okay, So I'm mixing it up. Always mix up, always stir the paint before you use it. And uh, I pour it in a small tray. And the reason I'm only using a small tray because this is a very thin stripe. It's only one and a half inches stripe. So I don't need the large roller. I'm using the smallest possible three inch roller for that stripe. Okay? Um, again, I'm covering the roller gently with Hazy Skies color. So again, the roller is almost dry. It's um, really very important. I make sure that the tape is very close to the wall. So uh, before I do it, it really doesn't take too much time to check this out, that the stripes are tied to the wall. And I just, you know, gently do my highlight stripe. So let's see what happens. Alright, here are your stripes. Okay, this is the finished result that you're gonna get. I have a little marks here from the pencil and you will have the marks from the pencil unless you do laser, but that's the whole different story. You can also do the stripes, not marking them with pencil, but with the laser. But um, it should be done definitely by two people because one is up, one is down. You have to see the laser all the way through. Um, I do it old-fashioned way, just marking with the pencil on two sides of the wall, the lower portion, actually three sides, the lower, the, the upper and the center. But, um, you know, at the end, when this uh, paint is dry, you take the magic eraser, you slightly wet it in water, and you just erase all the marks. I'm Marina Klima and I'm founder of My Decorating Tips and I would like to hear from you. I would like to hear how you did with your projects. Please post your questions, your comments and I will be more than happy to help you with any questions you have. Um, enjoy your painting. Goodbye.